There are many species of bees in the world, and some, like the honeybee, are much appreciated by humans. But that's not true of all bee species. Take, for instance, the carpenter bee. In front of me here, we have two bees that look very similar to each other. Now, you may notice that the carpenter bee looks very similar to a bumblebee, but the bumblebee has a fuzzy rear end, or abdomen, and the carpenter bee has a shiny abdomen. Now, carpenter bees like to work with wood. Okay, if you have a wooden structure at home, like a deck or a fence, or even if your house is made of wood, you may have noticed one of these holes drilled in there and wondered, hey, what is up with that? This is the work of the carpenter bee. If you open it up, you'll be amazed to see how much damage is going on in there. Now, from the perspective of the female carpenter bee, this is not damage. This is simply a nursery where she raises her young. And what she does is she'll go out into the garden, she gathers up pollen from flowers, and she'll roll that pollen up into like a little soccer ball, which she rolls down to the end of this tunnel. She'll lay a single egg on it, seal it shut. She goes out and gathers more pollen, rolls it up into a ball, rolls it down here, lays an egg, seals it shut, and she keeps doing that in sequence until she gets to the entrance. She seals that up, and then she flies away. In the meantime, the babies have hatched. They're feeding on that pollen ball. They undergo complete metamorphosis into an adult form, and then they are going to emerge, fly away, and maybe drill more holes in your house. Now, as damaging as the carpenter bee is, you've got to appreciate their incredible woodworking skills. From the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences, thank you for observing a moment of science.